One of the features that has been asked for with the A500 Mini is the ability to, to uh, use uh, ADF files. Um, so um, Retro Games have now released a firmware update um, which allows this feature. So in version 1.1.1, you've got um, ADF subfile support. Um, so you download the firmware. Um, won't take too long. Uh, I've speeded this bit up. Um, they recommend unplugging all peripherals while you're doing the install. Um, so then I copy the firmware file that I've downloaded, the A5U file, into my USB stick in the root. And you can see it's in there. And then create a ADF games folder to put a couple of games in to try out. Um, so I'll copy a couple of games in and then onto the A500 Mini, go into system information and it's found the firmware in the root asking, and it's asking if I want to update. So I do. Um, don't unplug the power during this as usual. Um, speed do this for a bit as well. Uh, so then the uh, the console reboots. Um, there's a bit of a pause there, and then you're back into the usual the usual carousel. You go to the USB stick. Um, the ADF uh, files folders there, and I can see the two games that I copied in. So just go into the first one, Batman, and it starts up, and I've uh, speeded up as well. Um, it's asking for F1 or F2 uh, to be pressed. So at this point, I'm going to plug in a keyboard to my USB hub that I'm using. And then I can press F1. And then the game is starting off. And we're in. Um, so yeah, all in all, a pretty easy process. And uh, off we go.